Hey there! Welcome to Dead Space 3. This is a... This is a, this is a video game. It's a video game I like a lot. And, uh... I have co-commentators this time. Introduce yourself, co-commentator friend. Hello. Yeah. My name is C. Jacobs. Um... Yeah. I have LP'd Max Payne 3 before. Yeah, and I'm Blind Sally, and, uh... We're, we're gonna be playing some Dead Space 3. Well, actually, I'm going to be playing some Dead Space 3. I'm gonna watch. I'm just gonna be going through the, the single player campaign. So this is a co-op game, but not all that much changes in the co-op. So, uh... We're gonna use our imagination and pretend we have uh, someone with us. Right, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna be playing on hard, because the game's really easy. It all started 300 years ago, with the discovery of the Black Marker. An alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original black market disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and Unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the Markers are divine. And their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the Black Marker disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the Black Marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful, but the cost too high. The Marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by EarthGov, his mind harvested for the Marker's secrets. The Marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis 7. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clark, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet, where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the park. Praise Altman. There's always hope where there's Altman. Yeah, Altman be praised. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Are you okay? Damn. Don't die. I was taking a drink and you said that and I started to laugh. <laughs> and now the drink is on my shirt. I, I sincerely apologize. <laughs> Altman be praised. Yeah. <laughs> hey there. W welcome, to, welcome to the gameplay of Dead Space 3. If you're if you're watching the cut commentary videos and you're just joining us, uh, Blind Sally is dying. I'll be okay. Oh, good. Okay. Altman, uh, Altman will preserve me. Right. In these trying times. Right. Exactly. Alpha Niner, 
This is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Dean! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Get there! Follow the waveform to send you by! I can't tell you anymore! Just get there! Don't! Do you hear me? You have to get there! What? Bullet, bullet, what? Dang it! Also, he's, he's a hardened space marine, but he doesn't say curse words because, you know, he's he's still green, you know? Gosh, golly gee! Golly gee Willikers. Man, it's hard the to Draco see. The Draco-9 is down! Garsh! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till we get to the blood test scene. Yeah, I, ca I can't wait either. You, you, gotta, you gotta find out who's the real Necromorph, but can you really be sure? It's too bad they tied everyone down to the couches because they all got eaten after the big reveal. I love when he shouts out in uh, extreme angst and agony, Oh, fiddlesticks! <laughs> oh, he doesn't, we don't have any ammo, so we can't shoot all these zombies. And hey, look, a collectible. Oh my goodness. They flash in the background just like the collectibles from Uncharted. It, you know, and much like Uncharted, the game auto-saves when you pick them up, so you can't ever pick them up again. So if I miss some, that's <laughs> why. I looked for all of them, but some of them are bastards. So this this game is uncharted several hundred years in the future, then, is what you're telling me. It is, yeah. It, it's basically it's basically uncharted 27. In his old age, um, Nathan Drake changed his name to Robert Altman and started a cult. Oh my God, Altman be praised. Altman be praised. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're gonna make me choke on my drink again. <laughs> I'm sorry. The ship's not really all sealed up, is it? I mean, there are several holes. I mean, if there were a climb button in this game, he could easily get inside. Yeah. And of course, stomping returns. Stomping is a dead space... It's a dead space staple, you know? You can't stomp? It's a dead, a dead space, space tradition. Game. Oh no. It really is like a thing. I, I can just imagine in his head right now, he's just going, Oh, oh golly! Oh jeez! Space aliens! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious! <laughs> oh shucks! I just shot him! Holy shit! He's a wholesome hero for a, a new millennium. He is, yeah. That's right. By the way, Isaac Clarke is not actually in this game. This guy is the protagonist. We play as two characters. Uh, Isaac Clarke's brother, Arthur Clarke. Fame, fame and cousin, author, Isaac yeah. Asimov. Right, yeah. yeah. This is not going so well for me. The, the stomping is of limited use in combat. Which is funny, because in Dead Space 1, I pretty much stomped everything. Even if it was standing up, I would stomp it in the shins until it fell over. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it's it's been severely nerfed by this point in the series. It's just for... Oh, it's nerf or nothing. <laughs> fair, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> uh. Oh look, it's the it's the key to saving everything. Great. It's a canister of ooze from uh, that evil corporation in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. <laughs> oh, too bad it was sitting right on the parking brake. Now we, know. Now we got to evac. Oh, that line always gets me. I love it. Hey, look, we've got a climbing segment. It is a sequel to Uncharted. That's right. Repelling is new in this game, and it works pretty intuitively, actually. They, they did a good job of making it feel like you're actually being tethered to something. That, that said, it, it does get kind of annoying sometimes. Whoa. Boy, the set pieces in this video game.
This game contains like TGRI. That's that's the name of the company that made the ooze. TGRI. <laughs> Did you just look that I up? <laughs> I looked it up. Oh, okay. If you're playing co-op, co-op partner dies right there. Young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahat, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. And now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. Love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. You... Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. You know, I point this out. I point this out every time I play this game. But man, the text on the codex was right side up, even though the codex was upside down. Man, what a rookie mistake! <laughs> no, it's like a, it's like an iPhone that uh, it it knows what, which way you're tilting it and uh, adjust yeah. accordingly. They have tilt mode activated. It's hey, it's the future, man. Yeah, future's now. I'm just pointing out that the the game won't let you move until you take that health pack. It's kind of lame. Kind of forced the tutorial stuff on you in this one, but at least it's pretty. It looks like a outtake from Coruscant <laughs> in uh, Attack of the Clones. 
Oh no, not And I don't mean that as a compliment. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh man, and Isaac's rent is late. Man, he's just in dire straits here. His apartment's as ugly as uh, Max's in Sao Paulo. Yeah, he... He's... Isaac is basically Max Payne, really. In a way. I, I just... I'm not going to read all of the text logs, but I just want to point this one out because of the line at the bottom. People want things they can fix, and I'm permanently broken. Damn. We need that red uh, boy, the voice actor. Uh, James Caffrey? J James McCaffrey, yeah. You need to get him in here yeah. to voice Isaac in this game. We need him to read that line. <laughs> that was a very Max Payne line. It was, yeah. The rain came down, washing away my past faster than a New York minute. And I reminded myself that I am a permanently broken thing. <laughs> oh, that's what. Whoa, wait a minute. Where'd Blind Sally go? When did James McCaffrey get here? Holy shit. He's been here all along. Oh my god. James McCaffrey be so praised. Kind of our, I'm, I'm actually perplexed as to where we are. Are we on Earth right now? No, no we're, we're on the a... moon. Didn't you read the the subtitle thing? It said Lunar Colony. I, I think I missed the subtitle, yeah. That's that's okay. It was it, it, it only showed up for a second. Also, holy shit, human enemies in a Dead Space game. Yeah, that's weirding me out too. This, this caused a lot of controversy because people thought you should only fight aliens in a, in a Dead Space game. Also, a cover system, fuck. Well, I don't know that that's necessarily true, but this is, it does seem kind of weird. It's just a million new things all at once. Universal ammo? Holy shit. This game is for babies. This is Dead Space for casuals, man. <laughs> I don't know what that guy hoped to accomplish. I mean, I do have guns. Right. Uh, this definitely feels more action horror than survival horror, like Dead Space felt. Oh, yeah. Which I mean, if we look at the progression of like the Alien series, by the time you get to Alien Resurrection, the aliens aren't that scary anymore. It's just kind of weird and just like, I don't know, weird clones and... They're just like walking like allegories for penises, no it's weird, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dead Space 3 is the Alien Resurrection of the franchise. Damn, man. So we were given a, a plasma... We have our plasma cutter from the previous games, uh, but we were also given a submachine gun, and that is our introduction to this game's weapon crafting system. <laughs> I've still got my stasis unit. I'll, I'll rattle off some gameplay tips to myself. Hopefully the player's not too stupid to get them. Oops. Hey, I remember the stasis unit from Dead Space 1. Callback. Oops. That's right. Yep. Recurring gameplay mechanics. It's callback. Question, did you have access to the stasis unit before this moment? Uh, yeah. We, yeah. Uh, Isaac has the kinesis and the stasis from the beginning in this game. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. They, they that's, that's nicer than having the sort of Metroid Other M style gameplay caveat where <laughs> Isaac refuses to use anything he has until someone says it's okay. Right, yeah. He, well, I mean, he told himself it was okay because he had to use it to get across, so in a way, he was mentally preparing himself for it. Yeah, he woke up in the morning, looked in the mirror, um, which he then smashed afterwards and said, Isaac, it's okay. <laughs> you can use your stasis unit. That's right. Man, I love the name of this place. This this is the Dredger Corp office building. Alt may be praised. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. This isn't just a manhunt. It's systematic slaughter. Oh, you know what? Why top of the government? Why Earth government? Danic blames them for experimenting with the markers. They can carry it. So you can imagine what they think of it. Have you reached the extraction site yet? I'm almost there. 
he's actually dying on the inside, but you know, that's true. Get him through. That's true. I mean, if you don't laugh, you cry. You know, that's how it is sometimes. But it's Dead Space, so it's more like if you don't laugh, you die. Uh. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! You should do this for a living. Oh man. <laughs> uh. your energy you're going to be dead in a matter of minutes pick him up there's something I'd like you to see there you see that it's a marker test lab they're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts what do you want from me as part of the marker test program Isaac you help make them and today you of all people get to watch me set them free no no you'll kill everyone Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. And now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. Oh no, Isaac fell into the trash compactor. Uh, well, that happens sometimes. 3PO, 3PO, turn off the attention levels trash compactor. 3PO. Whoa. Whoa, where did Blind Sally go? When did Isaac's voice actor, uh, Gunner Wright, get here? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now there are necromorphs. Is that a human guy over there? Nope, they're enemies. They're enemies that won't break through the glass until you use the health kit, because the game still thinks you're dumb. Oh, there you go. So there you go, now we yeah. are literally playing the thing. <laughs> that's why the opening scene uh, took place on the planet Antarctica. That's Yeah, that's right. The planet Antarctica. Antarctica 7, actually. <laughs> so these these guys that we have just met are called Wasters. They are the, the new necromorph of this game. And much like in The Thing, uh, they can spontaneously transform into several different permutations and can basically, like, transform their bodies at will. That's not fooling anyone. Come on. That guy didn't stand a chance. <laughs> I still really like the goofy telekinesis physics. That's great. Yeah, the 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 silly physics, they are just they don't let up on that. Oh no. Whatever will we do against all of these mission works? Uh, it's a good thing we have a lot of uh heavy machinery like bombs and plasma cutters and, you know, submachine guns. And our foot. We have our foot, too. Yeah, a, a boot that rivals Duke Nukem's. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Isaac can't kick with both feet at the same time, though. That's, that's a limitation <laughs> of the game engine, actually. Dredger cord. I still can't get over that. It's just so dumb. <laughs> First. Fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. <laughs> oh, collectibles. It's nice to see corporations in the future being honest, at least. You know, that's that's true, I suppose. 
I suppose they could have named themselves like a fun fresh future corp creating a fun future <laughs> for your children or whatever Basically what I'm gathering from this like shopping area is that the moon is a shithole. Like why would anyone want to live on the moon? Sick t-shirts. Look at that swag. Yeah, this this orange one here has Isaac on it. It's like what? <laughs> Holy shit. It's Mega Man. With a stick of salami. And he, he his 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 latest uh his latest franchise reboot hasn't really panned out all that well. Yeah, Mega Man really let himself go. Yeah. After the after the resounding success of the Mighty Number no. Nine in uh, in the Dead Space universe, Mega Man never really recovered. <laughs> so hey, Slashers are back, and they are uh, they're about as dangerous as they were before. They can't really they can't really even hurt you. Like the wasters are way better. <laughs> well, that's kind of depressing. Oh, and you can roll too, by the way. <laughs> Action roll. The, the thing is, the roll isn't even useful for anything. It doesn't like give you invincibility frames or whatever. It's just like, it's just pointless. It makes you look cool. That's true. That is true. It makes you look like a badass. Much like this man. I mean, this over looks here. pretty fun. This this guy here, he's a contest winner. He he created a weapon for this game, and won a contest to have his face put in the game. Hey, it's the wrench from Half Life: Opposing Force. That's that's right. It is. It's actually the same wrench. Uh, Dead Space and Half Life take place in the same universe. Whoops. Dead Space takes place in every game universe. Mm-hmm. It, it's including space is eternal, all to be praised. All, <laughs> it takes place in every universe, including the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one, apparently. Also, Chronicles of Riddick. Yeah, right. Exactly. And also, I think we decided that Kesha was part of the universe. Uh, Kesha is a very big part of Dead Space lore. She was actually the yeah. president after Barack Obama in uh, Dead Space's universe. No trains. <laughs> Moon President Kesha. <laughs> Train station. What about Danik's men? I lost some of the pen. Oh, damn it. Space President, that's that's the title. Space President. Space President Kesha. Wonderful. We have to solve a puzzle, you guys. Let's solve this puzzle. It's going to be a tough one. I'm glad there's a lot of arrows on it to tell you which way the train can move. Yeah, like the, the arrows that tell you what direction to move it, and the one and two to let you know what sequence to put them in, and the big holographic board at the top that tells you which order to arrange them in. Fuck, 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 fuck. It reminds me when uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 2 came out, and they were talking about how they had their biggest physics puzzle in it yet in Glowdome's mind, and it just turned out to be a giant teeter-totter. Yep. A, a bigger. This is basically the teeter totter of Dead Space. C basically, like, move shit around with kinesis, but don't move it around in the wrong order or you'll fuck it up. Like, that's the extent of the puzzles in this game. No, it's actually kind of sad. If Altman wasn't here walking alongside Isaac, the puzzles would be harder, but because we have the spirit of Michael Altman, Altman be praised, alongside us, uh, puzzles come really easy and naturally to Isaac. That, you know, that is true. I hadn't considered that aspect of it. That, that ex-girlfriend comment really got to him. Oh no, it's the final boss fight in Gears of War. Yeah, we're actually at the end of the game right now. This this game is closer to Gears of War than, than you probably thought. Oh my goodness. Listen to this fucking orchestral music. Isn't this epic? This is actually pretty epic. You know, I... I I'm still kind of baffled as to why everyone has a spine suit. Like, 
on their leather jackets and stuff? I, they don't really ever... They just kind of ignore that, <laughs> that, that rigs exist in this game. Like, Isaac just kind of has one attached to his jacket. Oh no! Oh! My, my sternum! Whoa. Whoa. Isaac, buddy. Harsh. Phew, good thing Isaac made that jump. Oh, hey there, Carver. How's it going? When did you get here? I feel bad for those soldiers whose heads he stomped in, though, because their families are going to have to have some closed casket funerals. That is... Well, they blew up the train, so they're probably cremated already. Oh, well. All men be praised.